Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Friday evening episode of Ted's Booze Cellar with me, your most gracious host, Ted, the premier alcohol review show here on YouTube. Now, it is the 8th of January 2021. It is 5.25 in the early evening, and we're going to be taking a look at another one of the beers from the beer gift box that my brother sent me for Christmas. So today we're going to be taking a look at Everyday Hero, which is a New World IPA by... Let me get this right. Amundsen Brewery, as you can see right there. Now, I can't, I can't remember if I have reviewed a drink from these guys before. I might have done, but it might have been so long ago that I just, just simply don't remember. Um, let's see. It says on the back that the ingredients include water, malted barley, flaked oats, hops, yeast, and yeah, that's it. Seems pretty simple. Uh, it doesn't really say much about the drink, and it is a, alcohol percentage-wise, what is it? 4.7%. So, I think that's pretty standard for an IPA uh, like this, and yeah, I've got to say, I do really like the design of the can. It's a bit psycho and a bit pop arty, but I really like the mixture of like different art styles and different mad, crazy colours. It is a bit busy, so your eyes can get a bit confused looking at the can, but... I don't know, generally speaking, I quite like it. I'll give it. I'll give it an eight point five out of ten because I feel like it could. The design of the can could be a little bit less busy, but no. Generally speaking, this looks very good. Um. So yeah, let's give it a sniff and see what our first impressions are like. It'll probably be quite fizzy because it was delivered in a box and uh, it is an IPA, so it's going to be a bit fizzed up, unfortunately. But let's give it a wee sniff and see what our first impressions are like. Smells like a standard IPA with a bit of a juicy pale ale aspect to it. So it's, you know, it's got like that sort of mangoey smell with a sort of slightly citrusy lemony after smell. So, yeah, no, it smells quite nice. I'll give it a 10 out of 10 for the smell. It smells pleasant. The smell doesn't sting too much, too much in your nostrils. And, yeah, it generally leaves a pleasant impression on you. So, yeah, I'll give the, oh, yeah, I'll give the smell a 10 out of 10. It smells very nice. So I'll give a quick palate cleanser of water first before we actually drink it. Yeah, we want to give ourselves a, an objective platform from which to review this little sucker. And then on to the most important part of the video, which is seeing what this thing tastes like. So, bottoms up and have a great weekend, everyone. It's quite mild, actually. Okay, so it's not particularly mangoey or citrusy. I feel, if anything... Well, it's got a bit of a tiny citrusy tang at the end. I feel more than anything it's got more of a grapefruity flavour. It kind of feels like a fizzy... Uh, fermented grapefruit juice. Like It genuinely does taste just like that. Um, you know, it's not particularly harsh... You know, it, it has got a sour aspect to it, but it's not so much so that it overpowers any other flavours there are. Even though that it is primarily tasting like uh, grapefruit. Um, there's a little bit of a, like, a lemony sort of rind taste in the aftertaste, which is quite nice, actually. It complements it. It complements the uh, sharpness of like that grapefruitiness quite well. Um, let's see. I think my main criticisms are, say, probably... I say it's not got the smoothest texture. The, the texture overall isn't bad, actually. It's quite good, but it's just like uh, towards the finish, it does become a bit um, muffled and confused and a bit overly fizzy. So swallowing it down at the back of your gullet is probably not as easy as I would hope it was, but it's still easy enough to drink for anyone, really. Um, and I do feel like the texture muddies the flavour a little bit at the end. So it does have aspects to it that I f the flavour overall is uh, really quite fine, actually. Like I can't really find anything major to complain about. I feel like the main biggest weakness of this is the texture, and that does impact the flavour slightly. But still, this is a really good IPA, so I feel I'll give it an 8.25, because I feel... <sighs> 
had it a slightly more fuller, uh, mangoey tint to the flavour, and that the texture was a little less busy towards the end, I feel like I'd be more likely to give it something like an 8.5 or a 9. But, as it stands, I think an 8.25 is still really good, and this is a generally pleasant and easy to drink uh, IPA overall. It's just there are just a number of medium to minor aspects of it that I'm not a massive fan of, but generally speaking, this is competently brewed, it tastes nice, and um, I think it is definitely worth recommending to try at least once. So, yeah, I would really recommend this. I think it's a buy, and... Yeah, I actually, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna hunt this down in the future because it is a good IPA. It's not my favorite one that I've ever had, but it is damn good. So, yeah, thank you to everyone for watching. And if you did like this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Boot Cellar, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you want to check out any other shenanigans I do online, I'll leave the links to my social medias and other YouTube channels in the video description down below. But until next time, have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Wash your hands, take a mask with you to the shops and work, and what else? Oh yeah, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye-bye for now.